Hello guys, Tough HG here and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at my latest purchase. This is a first generation Apple TV and specifically this is a 2008 model. I've checked the serial number and this exact one was manufactured on the 20th of May 2008. Now I paid £25 for this in an auction on eBay and about £5 postage and packing so I'm £30 into this and today we're going to take a look at what I bought and I'll be honest the only reason I bought this is because I like the box I'm probably not going to use the actual device because it's obsolete these days Apple cut off support for it but maybe we can make videos about it in the future but anyway let's take a look around this box which looks very nice indeed so on the side we've got some information about it about Wi-Fi and HDMI on the back there's a nice picture as well it tells you some of the features such as music, podcasts, photos and videos and YouTube. I don't believe any of those things are supported anymore but that doesn't really matter. On the bottom we have some information about it including lots of the features and the model and the serial number down there. But now let's open up this box and see if we've actually got what I paid for. So this box design is quite unlike what Apple does today so there is a sleeve on the box we take that off and then here it says designed by apple in california now most apple things say that on them but usually not as big as this so that is quite nice to see and i believe the box just opens like that and there we go there is the apple tv and here is the remote now the main reason I bought this exact Apple TV is because it was a really good deal and also the remote control is still in its original packaging as you can see. So the person must have either been using a different remote with this or using this with the plastic still on and the seal has not been ripped so that is very nice to see. I'll be keeping the, this packaging on and be using the remote just like this so yeah hopefully it works but that is quite nice to see that it is still in its packaging. So here's the Apple TV itself. Let's lift this up and take a look at it. Now it is in pretty good condition. There's some light scratching on the top, but that's to be expected with something this age. There's a little scuff on the aluminium up there and there's some dust stuck in it under there, but we can just take that out. There we go. That must be where it intakes because there's quite a lot of dirt in there, but we can clean this at a later date if necessary and I must say this does look a lot like the modern Mac Minis. I've had a 2014 Mac Mini and the front kind of looks the same. I think this is thinner but overall this is kind of the same design. On the back as our port we've got a figure of eight power connector, a USB port, Ethernet, HDMI, other video outs, audio and optical audio. I'm going to be using HDMI with this so we can get the best video quality. I believe this can output at 720p and nothing higher. I think 1080p video only came in the third generation Apple TV. I used to own one of those but that didn't end very well. That's a story for a different day. On the bottom we've got the rubber non-slip base along with an Apple logo and some more information about it. That bottom is actually fairly clean for the age so that is also very nice to see. Now in the box we also get the original power cable as you can see. It's in fairly good condition, it's actually quite clean which is good and we also get the original Apple stickers here. No one's peeled them off as you can see. Two of them are still on there so this looks like it's been looked after quite nicely and also we get the original manual as you can see it says Apple TV on it. This is the important product information guys and this looks like it's just been kept in the box, it's not damaged at all and that is very nice. As I said the only reason I bought this really was for the box but just because I like it so much. I couldn't find anyone selling just the box so I thought why not buy this one and hopefully we can have a bit of fun with this Apple TV as well. Maybe we can try installing Linux on it at some point but today let's just see if this thing works. So that's everything in the box, let's go downstairs to a TV plug it in and see what happens. Okay, I'm downstairs now with the TV. I've put it on the right input. The Apple TV is plugged into HDMI. Here is the power cable and as soon as I plug this in, it should boot up because there is no power button on this thing. So 
Let's just plug this in now and see what happens. I can hear it turning on, I can hear the hard drive. Let's see if anything shows up. And here we go, it is booting up. You can see the Apple logo there. That's a very nice looking Apple logo. And there we go, it does indeed work. That intro video was great. I really do like that a lot. Okay, here we are. Your Apple TV is not connected to the network. Now, I've not got an Ethernet cable to hand to plug this in, but let's just see if this remote works first off, still in its packaging. Yep, there you go. That is working just fine. And this is the same Apple remote that I can use with some of my Macs as well. So that is rather nice. So of course there's nothing on here right now. I'm assuming this has been reset when it was put up for sale. Let's just take a look in here. Apple TV capacity 144 gigabytes. So yeah, this is the 160 gigabyte model that I thought it would be. It's running software version 3.0.2, 720p as I thought. Yep, yeah, all that seems just fine. Now, how do I go back? That's not something I know how to do. How do I go back? There isn't a back button. Maybe I press menu, yeah. Press menu and it goes back okay. So I think I'm going to have to connect this to the internet just to see. Ah, remotes, what is this? Pair Apple remote, iPhone and iPod touch remote. Now, maybe one of my iPods could work as a remote control for this. I'm not exactly sure. I probably won't set that up now because this remote is working just fine. I'll go and find an ethernet cable, plug it into the router that's just over here, and maybe we can see if we can get anything else working on this. Okay, I've now plugged in an ethernet cable and now we are online. Let's see if anything works. Let's go to the iTunes store. I'm not expecting this to work and yeah, it's gonna want me to sign in. So I'm going to do this. It probably won't work, but it's worth a try. Okay, so I just tried signing in and it looks like it can't. Now I kind of expected that. So let's just click OK. Yeah, it didn't like that. Let's just go off all of that. So it looks like we can't access the store, but that's kind of what I thought. Anyway, let's go to software update and see if there's anything available. I'm not sure if it will even be able to connect yet. So it's up to date, so that is fine. Let's go back to the home screen and see if there's anything else we could do. Let's see if YouTube works. I highly doubt it. Let's just see what happens. Featured. Can this still connect? No, it cannot communicate. Just like the old YouTube app built into old version of iOS. Looks like it's been cut off. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be much that we can do with this in its current state. But that's kind of what I expected be the case but yeah this thing does seem to be working let's see if anything will work an error right that's absolutely fine but this thing is working so maybe we can try installing Linux on this at some point but at least this thing works and I am very happy with it indeed I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it or if I'm even going to use it at all but we can probably experiment with some things in the future but yeah for this video, I think that is pretty much it because there's not really much I can test. I'll try some more things off camera, but yeah, I think that is it for this video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this was interesting. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.